Four swans at Lake Yola have died over the past two weeks, and two of them have tested positive for the bird flu. Well, she's Tony Atkins is live at Lake Yola this morning, and Tony, the second pair died over the past weekend. Yeah, Mary, right now we're waiting on test results to see if they died from bird flu as well. Now, what we do know is that two swans, one was an adult royal mute as well as an Australian black swan, they've already tested positively for bird flu. Two black neck swans died over the weekend, so those results will come in time. The city says it's worked to disinfect areas of the park, like surfaces, working to get those sanitized. They say that it's rare, but it's possible for bird flu to be transmitted to humans. We always come here, you know, today I brought my family. Uh, they came from Brazil to visit us and uh, we are all feeding the birds. So, I mean, that's scary because we have uh, children here. That's not good. That sounds horrible. But uh, we don't really touch the birds when we're out here. You know, we feed them. The city says it's best for people and pets to avoid contact with the birds and bird waste. They recommend if you believe you may have stepped in waste or come in contact with it in some form, make sure you take off your shoes at home and clean them. The city says also because the park is so big, they're hoping that the, the flu can spread so they can, all the birds can gain immunity and be, you know, all of them can be safe as this continues to spread. For now, reporting live at Lake Yola, Tony Atkins, West 2 News.